Hey y'all, it's Nancy the Handy Scandy. Welcome back for another crafty venture. And true to my word, I'm back with part two of my Timu haul. This is July 2024. Okay friends, welcome to part two of my Timu haul. If you haven't already seen part one, I would say maybe go back and watch it first. I have this broken up into three parts. The first part was just general items that I got from jingle bells to coffee mugs to silverware to slippers. Just, just lots of different things. This part two is all going to be paper products, paper pads, um, that kind of thing. And I am going to do a flip through of all of them. So I would encourage you, if you want to see them, but you, you want to see it fast, you can um, go into the settings and watch it at a faster speed. So you will not offend me whatsoever. Um, I do want to say that there are a lot. So I have these different sizes and then all of these are six by six. Y'all, I have no business ordering any more paper from anybody, probably for the rest of my life. <laughs> and then this one is a little bit different size. What size is that? Six by, uh, not quite five. But anyway, we're gonna, we're gonna look at these first. I'm gonna start with these two bigger ones. Now you guys know that I, I like Halloween, so these are Halloween themed. Um, very kind of Tim Holtzy, very vintage, very, um, I don't know what other words I would use for them, but I love them. I hope it's not glaring too much. But I love a good skeleton. This one has kind of a medieval feel to me. This one is just Grim Reapery. Obviously this one is Grim Reapery as well. This one looks like maybe like a Tibetan monk or, of some sort. I don't know, maybe I'm reading too much into them. I'm just looking at the detail, which I adore. Again, another Grim Reaper. It looks like they're all gonna be Grim Reaper on the left and skeleton slash skulls on the right. And I love this framework around him. It's very tribal to me. Love that. Oh, and this is like like a Creole witch or something. Oh my gosh, very voodoo-esque to me. Tribal, oh, so cool. I've got another kind of grim reaper, but that one looks female and she looks very sad and somber. Oh, he looks like a Viking. He is my, like I'm goosebumpy guy, he's my favorite. He's my favorite, he's very much a Viking. And look at this one too, so good. I hate that these came bent up like that. I'm gonna have to help them lose their memory. Oh wow, oh and then these are reversed with the um, Reaper on this side. So cool, I wish you guys could see all the detail in these, oh my goodness. And I love these little pops of green on this one. And again, he's not really in a wreath per se, but the way all of those bits and pieces are around him kind of creates a wreath or a frame, especially with this bit in the background. Love it. Look at all these skulls across the bottom. Oh my goodness, guys. Now again, if this isn't your, your cup of tea, of course, you know, you will not offend me if you speed through it. You will not offend me one bit. So these are skeletons as well, but they're a little lighter and brighter. I love them. I love them. They still have that grungy feel, but not as dark. Again, lighter and brighter. Like this one looks like he's just sitting in, out in the out in a field, talking to the butterflies, just, just appreciating them. Look the way his legs are bent. and He's just chilling. Just chilling out in the... In the nature. This one actually looks like tattoo art to me. I love it. Those two are very similar because if you described them they would be very much the same description, right? Skeleton bust with florals and butterflies but this one with the darker background and this one with the lighter background. These little bits remind me of those pieces of tape Tim Holtz released not long ago. The cellophane tape, that's fun. I love how this one has its hand up here. I don't know if it's holding the flowers. I'm not really sure. But then these two again, just kind of out in nature. The big butterfly landed on his head. This one like it's gonna come land on her nose. Again with the hand up at the chest. 
Not sure what's going on here. Like this is not your normal arm. I don't know what that is. But this one kind of sitting Indian style or like up on one knee and one leg bent. Very fun. Oh, again, tattoo art, right? Oh my gosh. Look at the drips. This one reminds me of the um, skull stamp in the Memento Mori stamp set from All in Create. Love these. And guys, all you got to do is cut these out and you've got a card. You can trim it down. You can do whatever. I would not want to lose the grunge around the edge. Let me see how big they are. Eight by... Each panel is about eight by five. So they would make big cards for sure. But nonetheless, you could definitely do that. Or you could frame them. What a beautiful collage these would be. Now this one is, is are they doing like with their hand up under their chin? Like I don't, I don't understand what's happening there. That's too many folds. <laughs> too many arm bends. I don't know. This one I really like a lot. Really love those subdued colors and that dark background. This one, look, look, they're just smiling. They're just talking. They're leaning over, having a conversation with somebody. Just sitting out in the woods. I got the little pelvic bones going on. So pretty. This is kind of weird with the, the rib cage. I'm not sure what's happening there. And again, these bones are doing weird things. But the skulls, if you just look at the skulls, they're beautiful. Stunning. Okay, this is weird. <laughs> Here's one hand, two hand, three hands. I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm loving them anyway. And this one, you can see the rib cage kind of showing through the... Um, the holes in the skull. Wild. These are just wild. And here's like, so here's the shoulder and here's this arm. But what is this other arm back there? Oh, I don't know. I love all these little bits, bits of whatever foliage and stuff growing up off the top of the skull. So wild. And these two, I hope I'm not facing it towards me too much, y'all. I'm sorry if I am. If you want me to go back and redo them, I can. Just tell me downstairs in the comments. Or maybe I'll realize it as I do the editing. I don't know. This is all, it's like scanned laces. And I think it's beautiful. I love that they're all a little mottled. Some more pink, some more orange, some more gray. But I just think they're all beautiful. So different laces different textures. And again, I think they just scan the real thing in, which is very similar to what Tim Holtz does. You just scan in the real thing and then you print it off. Oh, let me measure these real quick. These are about eight and a quarter, not quite eight and a half by almost six. So I love this kind of a medieval warrior. War, what do you call if you know warrior? I don't know. <laughs> and I adore this. I actually have a um, tattoo in the works that's going to be in, in a frame like that with some overgrown vines and things. And I'm going to show this to my artist to say that's the, that's the idea I want. I don't want that exact thing. I want her to do her own thing. but. Oh my gosh, look at that cat, y'all. Very pretty. Oh, for, the, for my dragon friends, that is beautiful. And this kind of a crescent moon. Oh, and that raven, what? And the lantern, what? The drippies, you see the drippies? Oh, there's another frame. That one's really pretty too, isn't it? Let's compare. Another raven, another tree. Actually, that's the first tree. Is that, that's not like the first raven we saw, is it? 
that moth. How beautiful. Another jar. I don't think that's a real word. Kind of looks like it's Welsh or maybe Finnish. I don't know. It just has that look to it. And this frame is stunning too. This one says retro vintage materials, 30 pieces for junk journals. I think there are three of each pattern if I remember correctly. Yeah, I love that. Look at how it has the, the corners cut out. It has the mottled look to it. The corners kind of look like they're burnt or torn. more sunnies, a little stamp and the words. And the edges are modeled a little bit. This looks like it was maybe intended to be, but it wasn't. I mean, it's modeled, but it's not cut out. Very pretty. And then coming up on the last couple here, another one with the big B. Lots of the modeling there. So it's the same. The paper is cut out the same, but it's a very different print. I say very, maybe not very. A different print. Those are all gorgeous. Gorgeous. And those would be full on card fronts, guys. Like, there's nothing else you'd have to do that. Put a sentiment, call it done. Gorgeous. So now I have these broken into Halloween. So these are the pa paper pads, six by six paper pads. So I have four that are Halloween. I have four that are kind of bright and funky. No, five and then I have the rest are kind of vintage and modeled there's five of those as well so if you have watched me at, at real speed up till this point you might want to fast forward as I flip through these or if you just want to meander through with me you're welcome to do that as well so let's look at these I think there's three of each of each design kind of dark and mysterious Kind of like wallpapery. A lot of these are like that. Look at that raven. And you know, you could cut these out of the paper. You wouldn't have to leave it as a whole as a whole thing, obviously. But mm, beautiful. And again, I know that not everybody's into the darker stuff. I get that. And whether it's dark in terms of imagery or dark in terms of the color scheme, I, I know. Both aren't for everybody, I get that. I think they're beautiful. Now this one is all bats. It has that mottled kind of um, rust, rust, rusty red, red orange <laughs> to the yellow in the background and then some spider webs and then all the rest are bats. More of those pumpkins. I see a theme going on with them, the gourds. Similar bats to the first one, just in different scale and different color. Same scullies. Again, just different scale. Lots of spiders. I don't like that. Ugh. I had a spider in my apartment the other night. Creeped me out. Some more of the pumpkin patch. Oh, you know what? These, I think, are supposed to be antlers, but over here there's also leaves mixed in with the antlers. There's some more antlers down in here, too. I didn't catch those before. Are these pigeons? What are these? I, what is that bird? Magpie? Maybe it's a magpie. Called Silent Castle. So there's two sheets of 12 different designs. Very wallpaper esque, you know, that damask look. Oh, and I love me a ticking stripe. Very cool. Look at that castle. And again, with the spider webs in the back, we've got some spider webs kind of in grayscale and then more in the white anatomy and physiology kind of thing with the different reflexology points in the hands, skull and crossbones.
that's very familiar to me. Why is that familiar to me? So guys, I will tell you, when I shop for papers on Timu, when I shop for anything on Timu, if anything looks familiar to me, I go and see if there's, there's another source for it. And if I find that another company actually created it, I don't buy it. If I can't find it anywhere, then then I feel like it's free game. But if if I see it made by somebody else, I do not buy it. And none of this rang a bell to me except this little um, drawer system here with the library cards. That rings a bell to me, and I'm wondering if that's from a Tim Holtz pad. So I try to shop very ethically. These are like apothecary, yeah, like apothecary scenes and bits and bobs, if you will. So this next couple of packs is what I'm referring to as bold, bright, and odd. <laughs> um, I think there are five packs, and I am just going to allow the flip through to happen. I would be here all day as it is. I think we're going to end up being over 20 minutes. I've trimmed it down from over an hour and a half. So I've done well, but I'm gonna do even better and just let the video play so we can look at these bold, bright, and odd ones. Let me know your comments and your thoughts downstairs in the comment section, and I'll see you there. Now this is sort of a transition pack because it is bright and bold, but it's also very modeled, grungy, and, and vintage-y. So we'll flip through this one and then we'll start that next category, which is the grungy, vintage-y, whatever else I said. <laughs> See you there. This is an absurd amount of paper, y'all. This one is called Modeled Memory. These were Lace of Memory. Look at all the chippy paint and the lace on there as well. It's like some plaster. Two of each design. Same. Looks like they're all gonna be about the same in terms of how you would describe them, but each one's a little bit different. Like a gel plate print, right? Many of them look very similar, but when you look at the details, they're so different. There's only one more after this, guys. We're almost done. If you've stuck with me this far, holy cannoli. <laughs> That's very soft and delicate. Ooh, as is that. Wow. 
I'm just wowed. They're all very similar, but also very, very different. This one is Appreciate Everything, another one by Panelise. So some more of those damask feels. Wow, another gel plate print and like a roll off sheet. So good. Guys, what the world. Can you even believe how much I got? So with all of that, friends, I want to offer a giveaway. So this one, the modeled memory, was a duplicate. I got two of them, so I want to give this away. Put the word modeled in your comment downstairs or memory. You can use either or because models might be hard to work into a comment. <laughs> but yeah, use either word, modeled or memory, or if you want to choose both, you can, and that will get you in the running for a drawing. I put all the names that use these words in their comments, I'll put all of them into the wheel of circles, and that's how I, or no, the wheel of names, and that's how I choose my winners. So do that. Once this goes up, I will keep it open for three days. And at the end of that three days, I will select a winner. And I will make the announcement in the comments. So make sure that you hit the bell so that you are alerted. Hopefully you're already subscribed, but you have to be alerted when I name the winner because I'm not going to go look for you. And you have to respond to my comment so that you can send me an email and then I can get this to you. Does that make sense? So in your comment today, type in modeled or memory in your comment. Make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit that bell so you're notified when I announce the winner, which will be in my comments, and I will pin it to the top. But if you're not alerted to that, to the fact that you are the winner, then I'm gonna to have to choose somebody else. I'm gonna leave it open for 24 hours after I make the announcement. And then if I don't get a response, I'm gonna choose somebody else. And I'm gonna keep on going until I find a winner, okay? So make sure you hit that bell so you are alerted every time I post a comment so you know if you are the winner or not. Because I have had people miss out on their winnings because they weren't watching the comments and never replied to me. So need you to do that. And with that, guys, thank you for watching. I will be back with part three in, I am not sure when, because I have some more Halloween decor items coming, but then I'll probably be done shopping for Halloween, y'all. I really will. Um, you can believe that or not. <laughs> but thanks for watching, for spending time with me. Again, this is part two of my Timu haul, July 2024, and I will see you very soon in the next one. Mwah! Until then, I'm out.